load my car up. Okay. And you asked me for ID, you pulled up on me. I'm not, I mean, did the alarm go off or something? This, this is, is a weird way to this park. Is a, yeah. Can I still get your name? Is that what do you thing? need that for, sir? I'm, I'm sorry, I work here. What do you need my so name for? talking to you. Your stop is gone. Yeah, now my stop is gone after you've been here the whole time. So here's the deal. You no, 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 there's no car. deal. Yeah. There's no deal. You can either get back in your car and you can leave, or I can get your identification, okay? Hey folks, welcome back to our channel. We're all about discussing how individual rights connect with what's good for our community. Today's video puts us right in the middle of that mix, making us think about freedom, privacy, and how law enforcement operates in public spaces. In this video, there's a situation where someone is recording in a public area and a police officer comes over to ask questions. He gets us thinking about where the boundaries are for our rights, the responsibilities of those who protect us, and how these moments impact everyone's safety and freedom. If you believe in defending civil rights, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and sharing it with your friends and family. Your support can really make a difference in spreading awareness, and don't forget to head over to the channel to appreciate him for standing up for our rights. Links in the description. They're giving you a ticket? Speeding? What's that? For speeding? You can film, that's fine. Just go stand over by your car. You got the wrong one. You got the wrong one. What's that? You got the wrong one. I got the wrong one. Just carry on. Do your business. You need to back up, otherwise you are interfering with my stop. Well, we've... I've been cordial with you so far. You need to stop talking. Okay. You okay, man? You piss yourself a little bit or what? Please. Otherwise, otherwise we're going to have an issue. Dude. Why is that? Because you're interfering with my stop. Right? Your stop is gone. Yeah, now my stop is gone after you've been here the whole time. So here's the deal. You no, 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 there's no car. deal. Yeah, there's no deal. You can either get back in your car and you can leave or I can get your identification, okay? What's your name? My name's Officer Lockwood. Officer Lockwood with what department? And you're telling me you're going to get my ID for standing on a public easement recording yeah, you? Yeah, a public easement, but you're interfering with my stop. Hi, your stop is gone, yeah, son. Now my stop's gone, but you're interfering How did with I interfere with it? Okay. You, you, want to, you might want to go look up that statute and get a supervisor, son, or just get in your car and leave. That'd be best. You, you think that you think that you're the first clown I've ever dealt with? No, I know I know you're not the first the first person I've ever dealt with. Okay, just leave. Go do your work. <laughs> hey guys, it's uh, it's in New Mexico. It is P O J O A Q U E. Hey, what's up, boss? What's going on? Hey, how are you? I'm James. Cheer Hill, good to meet you, sir. Good to meet you. Are you a sergeant or? No. I'm okay. Just cool. Um, what's this guy's name again? Lockwood. Officer yeah, Lockwood. Lockwood. So you're not his supervisor? No. Can we get his supervisor out here to spank him a little bit? You go contact our office and, okay. and talk yeah, to him there. Right. Swatch your attitude. Do it here yeah, I, don't, I don't have an attitude. You know? You're good. All right. All right. Hey, have a good one, brother. Hey. The next time I come out here and record you, I expect no lip from you. You understand me? No, I'm in a public space. I'll stay here. I'll stay here. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm on a public easement. There's no sidewalk. It's a public easement. You you were doing good. Just, you know, shouldn't leave. You're good, bro. You're good. Hey, if I were going to hurt you, I'd hurt you. If you were going to... If if someone's gonna hurt you, they're gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just here to record, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I get it. You want to take the don't side here. The only thing you just gotta be cautious with is you're on an Indian reservation. Yeah, sure. So if you go up into the tribal areas, yeah, there you're not allowed to. Record. Sure, absolutely, absolutely, brother. So, but anywhere else, you're good to go. I, all right, I appreciate you, man. Hey, uh, can you do me a favor though? Just between you and me, we won't tell anybody. Will you spank the child when you get back to the office? So what did he do? He's just bullying me, telling me, threatening me for being here recording him. That's all. Just, you know, I'll just bullying me and I'll threatening me. Okay. I'm not a supervisor. If you want that to happen, you don't talk contact that, Hey, you know what? If, if between me and you, you tell me that you'll spank him good, we'll just leave it at that. Just give him a little swat on the bum and tell him bad boy. <laughs> all right. Thank you, brother. You too. Filming public officials, including cops during traffic stops, is totally within your constitutional rights. Having a camera around helps 
keep things transparent and holds everyone accountable, acting as a check against any potential bad behavior. When officers tell you to get back in your car or ask for your ID without a good reason, they're stepping over the line and infringing on these rights. These actions can feel like an attempt to intimidate you and stop you from recording what's happening, which seriously undermines public trust and transparency. It gets even messier when tribal police, who generally have authority only within their reservations, start making traffic stops outside their jurisdiction. This is illegal and undermines the authority of local and state law enforcement who are actually supposed to be in charge there. If your rights are violated in these situations, you can take legal action but it can be a long and expensive process. This is why such tactics are often used in areas near reservation. Fortunately, James Friedman encountered this officer and now the officer knows to respect people exercising their constitutional right. How's it going, man, how are you? How are you? Good, good, it just, this is a weird way to park. I'm working, man, oh, I work okay. here. Oh, you do? Yeah, what's your you name? Have an ID with you or? Got a name and badge number? Yeah, absolutely. What's your name and badge number? Dan Padilla and badge number 541. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. So you have what, an ID with you? What do I need an ID for? I just... I want to make sure that you work here. <laughs> Were you going to call my boss? What's that? Oh, yeah. I'm a, ja I I'm a janitor. You are? Yeah. Oh, I've never seen you janitor in here. That's why I'm asking. I've been working here for four years, sir. Oh, really? So, I mean, you must be new. This is a new route or something? No, it's not a new route. Well, I mean, I work here. I work here seven days a week. Okay. Same time every night. All right, I've never seen you uh, janitor in here, and yeah. I work here every night also during the week. It's all good, but yeah, this, I work here, sir. Cool. Do you have your ID with you? What do I need ID for? Because I want to make sure that you are you, and this is a weird way to park, so that's why, I was, that's I, why I'm I, here. I clean here at night. I'm not aware. You know why I park right here like this? Because my car didn't got bipped outside before. I uh, got vacuums. Okay. I can't get my shit bipped like this. I park right here so I can hear and, and know what's going on, be alert. Okay. But well, I'm, I'm trying to figure out. I just I'm 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 loading my car up. Okay. And you asked me for ID. You pulled up on me. I'm not. I mean, did the alarm go off or something? This, this is, is a weird way to this park. Is, but this is our property. This is our property. We work here. I understand that. Do you have a, a business card that I don't has have your name on it? I'll, 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 I can tell you my name, sir, but I don't have no ID for you. you asked me. That's fine. Yeah, I, I want to make sure that but, you are you. But I'm just saying, what do I need to show ID for? Can I have your your business talking card? To you. Places like this get broken into all the time. Can I have your business card, sir? I don't have a business card, but I gave you my name and I gave you my badge number. Did I not? You asked for it, I gave it to you. What's your last name, sir? Sir, can I ask you a question? Go for it. What am I doing wrong? Have I have I have I committed a crime? No, but am I under suspicion a, for something? This is rather suspicious. I work right it. You want me? I, well, can I get out of the car and get, unlock the door for you and shut the alarm down? Heck yeah! Yeah, That'd let me awesome. do that. Can I do that? Yeah, for sure. I'm not gonna get shot, right? No. <laughs> okay, yeah. But can I have your name, name and badge number, sir? Meredith, 656. Say it again. Meredith, 656. I'm going to show you my, um, let me unlock the door for you, man. Let's see. Okay. I got a key too, right? No, I don't have a key actually. That's good. Yeah. Good. Can I still get your name? Is that what do you need that for, sir? I'm trying to work here. What do you need my so name for? Talking to you. This is freaking hilarious, unbelievable. After all this, the cop is still desperate for that ID. It's like he just can't let it go. The persistence is almost comical at this point. You have to hand it to the cameraman, though. He's doing a fantastic job handling the situation and keeping his cool under pressure. The way he's standing his ground and recording everything is exactly what we need to see more of. Stay tuned for more of this unfolding drama. You don't want to miss it. But I, I, okay. I, 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 have, I, I have it your way. That's fine. I was here checking on your business. But the alarm didn't go. What are you checking on me for? You work here. I'm just making sure that you're. Like I told him, sir. Hold on, no, no, just I'm like I told sure him. No the reason I, I, I've work. been working here for four years. The only reason why I park right here is because my shit they got bit outside the outside the thing. He come. He hit the corner, see me load my car up, and then come ask me for ID. Ran up on me. Put the first of all, he put the lights on me as if I was committing some kind of crime. I work here. 
I just well, let y'all in here. Put my headlights are on. I drive with them on. But you put the them time. in my face. That's the only reason why I put the light back on your ass because you you put them. I'm sitting in my car. I just you just okay. see me. I okay. see you at the light, sir. It's okay, cool. close business, right? I've been working here for four okay. years, I sir. And I, and I never seen you. You like ain't. This. Well, I ain't yeah. never seen you. Okay, and that's fine. So how is it? Fine? Okay, why you need my ID then? Do I show me your ID? I'm still waiting on your car. I gave, I gave you my name. My I need, oh, give me I your car. You're your supposed door. to supply a car. I'm just trying to. Figure, I'm just trying to figure out why I need to show my name. Okay, cool. And my ID for something that I'm We're not doing now. nothing. You don't want to give me your name. That's fine. You know I don't have to show you my name. That's the cool part. But you know my rights. Why would I? Why would I for? Why would I forfeit my rights for for nothing? I'm over here working. I'm doing my job. I got. Okay. I, you making me late for my next job? Anybody's rights. I'm late, sir. Do you want anything else? I, I need you to just leave. Okay. You, you dismiss it. You That's dismiss fine. too. What's your name again? That's fine. Meredith. Y'all both dismiss. Yeah. You're not dismissing me. I'm good. You take care. <laughs> you you All you right. leaving? All right, y'all. To the loop. Tyrants. It's scary how tyranny keeps getting worse every day. I mean, um, who does this cop think he is? Pulling it up out of the guy's workplace while he's parked outside his job just because his car is parked a bit oddly. The cop thinks he's suspicious. The officer decides to confront him, but instead of just asking a few questions, he escalates the situation and tries to violate this guy's rights. It's not just annoying, it's infuriating and wrong. This isn't how officers should act. They should be protecting our rights, not threatening them. This situation shows exactly why it's so crucial to know your rights and always record the police. That's why videos like these are so important. People learn a lot from watching them. They're educational. This guy did an awesome job handling the situation. Check out his channel, subscribe, and show him some support. Let's help his channel grow. You'll find the link in the description and pinned in the comments. Let him know what a great job he did recording this clown. See you in the comments. Yeah, I got my 45. You got a pistol permit? No, sir. No? Okay, I want you to set that thing down real. I want the oh. pull down. Okay. Put your hands up over your head. Okay, I want to make it very clear. I do not consent to any searches or seizures of my property. That's nice, but you're not moving until I get another unit here. You That's understand. fine. Understand. I understand. And you do not have a pistol permit. Not for open carry, no. I'm fishing and open carrying. At this point, you're detained until I determine what's going on here. Do you understand that? I understand. All right. Do you have identification on you or no? Uh, I do. It's in my pocket. All right. Don't go for it. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. Somebody called you in wearing the gun and suspicious. Okay. Obviously. And we're going to go ahead and conduct an investigation. As soon as another unit gets here. Okay? Understood. Are you with... Uh... I'm with the city of Ormond Beach. Okay. Do you have a name and badge number? Yes, I do. I'll give you my business card at the conclusion. Of this. Okay. Can I go ahead and get your name and badge number? Yeah, right? my badge number... 14. 14. Okay. Sergeant Dog. Okay. 10 Alpha Pencil. We don't use those. I'll give you my computer ID. Understood. 1012 is signal zero, and I'm standing by for another unit. Do you live in the area? Um, I'm not answering any questions. Okay. What type of weapon is it? Uh, I'm not answering any questions, sir. 
I'll give you my name since I'm being detained. My name is Jeffrey Marcus Gray. I'm sorry, Jeffrey Marcus Gray? Yes, sir. Born January 8th, 1970. Other than that, uh, I'm not answering any questions. That's your constitutional right. Okay. ID through the state of Florida? Uh, sir, I'm not answering any questions. Well, that question is not subject to any criminal act. Right. That is just to identify. I, I'm a resident of Florida. Okay. No, you don't have to. You don't have to self-incriminate under the Fifth Amendment. Right. But there are there is information that you'll have to provide me. That okay. has nothing to do with that. I'm just gonna, can I just adjust this camera strap? Cause it's kind of pulling on my neck. You don't take your hands off your head. Okay. You do have your gun out of your holster? Yes, I do, at my side. Okay. I'm not pointing it at you, but I have it at the low ready in case you were to do something offensively against me. Understand I do not consent to any searches or seizures of my property. Okay, well, until we get this taken care of, I'm going to remove this from you, sir. Do you have any other firearms or weapons on you that we need to be concerned about? I have one that's in a concealed, a concealed weapon. One it's in my right side and inside the waistband holster. Okay. He's got one on I do not. There. I do not consent to any searches or seizures on my property. They are locked and caught. Be careful. Do you have any other weapons that we need to be aware of? I have two magazines in my left pocket. Other than that, there's no weapons. Uh, okay. Left pocket? Cargo pocket? Yes, sir. Any knives or anything that's going to no. stick me? Uh, regular pocket. Well, we're going to place you in handcuffs. You're a detained pursuant investigation. You're not under arrest, but this is for your safety and honor. Do you understand that? I do understand. Yeah, your wallet is in your cargo pocket? My wallet, yes sir. And you, you said you had identification in that? It's in my, this pocket here. Right. We appreciate your cooperation. Understood. Where's your ID at in here? Uh, it should be in that front slip. This one? Uh, no, this up one? there, where your fingers are, tip of your fingers are. Right here? Uh, nope, right there, where your thumb is, yes. Officer Evans, would you read him his constitutional rights before we proceed any further? He's already invoked, but I wanted to be aware of what his constitutional rights are and then he can make an informed decision. He probably already knows, but. What's your name, sir? Uh, he's got it right there, Jeffrey Marcus Gray. Mr. Gray, I'm Officer Evans from the Orange Beach Police Department. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used as evidence against you. You have the right to talk to an attorney, have him or her with you now or at any time during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you. If at any time you wish to stop talking or have an attorney present, all questions will be stopped at your request. Do you understand these rights, sir? I understand. Thank you, sir. You care to tell me what's going on today while you're walking around with all these guns sticking out everywhere? Uh, I'm fishing and I'm open carry while fishing, which is perfectly legal in the state of Florida. And other than that, I'm not answering any other questions. Okay. If you guys check out Florida Statute 790.25. What statute? 790.25. What does it say? Subsection H. What does it While say? hunting, fishing, camping, or traveling or to or from such an event, it is legal to open carry in the state of Florida. I'm We'll confirm that, and I think you're right. And I don't know that it's open carry, though. I know you can carry. Yes. I don't know that it's open carry, but, but you're, we're going to correct. We're going to review the statute, but along with that, you're also concealed carrying a firearm. Correct. Which is not legal. Going to. Do you have? Did you see my permit in my wallet? No, we didn't go through your wallet. We haven't gone through your. I asked you if you had a pistol permit, and you said you were not going to answer. 
if you have a pistol permit, that's perfectly legal. Right, you were referring to the open carry then. No, no, I was referring, I asked you if you had a pistol permit in general. I didn't know. I misunderstood your question. Okay. Then. Then that's fine. We're here okay. to conduct the investigation. If you have a pistol permit, you're coming to and from fishing, we'll verify all that. And if everything is uh, all right, we'll return your firearms to you and let you be on your way. Where's your permit at? It's in that wallet. Again, understand I'm not consenting to any searches or anything. So. Where's your permit? Behind the picture of my wife. Which one? This one? Yes, sir. Yes, but you are subject to produce the permit upon demand. And I asked you if you had one and you wouldn't even answer. Is that not correct? I said I do not have an open carry permit. I asked you if you had a pistol permit. I didn't ask about open. <clears throat> yeah, That's probably the right statute if you did check it out. <coughs> and you do understand that we have the right as police officers detaining you to relieve you of your firearms until we conclude the stop. I disagree with that. Like I said, for I'm our not, safety, I'm not answering that. Okay. Well, that's a. Uh, Other than I disagree. That's fine. I mean, you're it's America. You have the right to agree and disagree. Right. I've got my business card and my ID number for you, sir. Understood. Thank you. If everything affirms out as I said before, we'll go ahead and release you. If I might make a recommendation, I'm not asking you a question, mm -hmm. I'm making a recommendation. Since you have a concealed weapons permit uh, in the future, again, I would say that you might want to, however many guns you carry is your business, not mine, mm -hmm. but if no statutes were violated, I would say that common sense would dictate you might want to wear them all concealed. Not say you have to, if that's how the statute bears out, mm -hmm. I would say the common sense so that you don't run into situations like this. I mean, I am a firm believer of the ownership of firearms, your first amendment right. Are the cuffs too tight on you? No, they're, they're fine. It's just my arm kind of cramped up. Okay. That's all. But the cuffs are fine. They're not tight or anything. Okay. I'm a firm believer of the first amendment and I would try always never to do anything to cut into your rights on that. At this point, we're just, as I said, we're detaining you. If everything checks out, we'll be on your way. I, but I would, I myself wear my firearm off duty and I always, we're required by policy to have a jacket or something over it. But I would recommend the same for you because then you don't make other people in the area nervous. You know, statutorily, that may not be a prerequisite, but common sense. Just to save yourself, having the police officers call to check you out every single time. I'll be back. Hey Sergeant, if you would, uh, can you return my firearm? We are about to. Um, just, can you just put it in my car for me? I don't want to have it in my we hand like or anything. We would like to do it that way too. Okay. My business card, sir? Okay. As soon as you reclaim your property, and then we'll uh, escort you over with your firearms to your vehicle. Okay. We appreciate yes, your sir. cooperation. Yes, sir. Can I put that in my pocket? Yes, you may. Okay. Thank you. People aren't used to people walking around with guns like that, like the wrong way. Right, so fish, they're, they're gonna call too, just so you know. Especially not at a fishing pier like this. Now, if it was out in the middle of the woods, that's one thing. Mm -hmm. You're talking about you're in a residential area. Right. It's not like we're, you have any bears trying to steal your fish. Got them secured. Yeah, it's not like you're gonna have to worry about bears coming trying to steal your fish or nothing. That's the incident highlights crucial questions regarding the legal and constitutional rights associated with public filming. The person capturing footage of public spaces elicits diverse reactions from both the public and law enforcement. Each interaction reveals insights into the legal principles shaping our communal life with the First Amendment of the United States Constitution at the forefront. This amendment safeguards freedom of speech and expression extending to the recording of public officials, including police officers, in areas where individuals have a right to be. While this right is not absolute and must be balanced against concerns for privacy, security, 
and public order, the established legality of filming in public areas for accountability and transparency purposes is emphasized. The public's initial resistance in law enforcement inquiries underscore a common misunderstanding of this right. The law is clear Individuals do not need to justify filming in public spaces, nor are they generally required to provide identification without reasonable suspicion of a crime. This principle is crucial for asserting public oversight over public servants and fostering a culture of transparency and accountability. Public reactions ranging from discomfort to curiosity reflect the societal tension between privacy expectations and the realities of public visibility in the digital age. Navigating these expectations requires a nuanced understanding of privacy rights, which do not broadly extend into public spaces voluntarily entered by individuals. The law enforcement response in the video aimed at verifying the legality of filming while ensuring no laws are breached highlights the delicate balance officers must maintain. They must protect constitutional rights while ensuring public safety and order. De-escalation techniques showcased in the video are essential tools for both the filmer and law enforcement managing potentially volatile situations and preventing unnecessary conflict. The importance of these techniques cannot be overstated, contributing to the peaceful assertion of rights and the maintenance of public order. This is more than a series of encounters. It's a dialogue about freedom, respect and the shared spaces we navigate daily. Now it's your turn. What are your thoughts on this?